So before we get started tonight, I thought I would show you the view that I have going on right now while I film. I am inside though, so that there's no wind and things, but gonna spend more of the day up here. So I'm gonna record this and you guys can watch it at your leisure. So we'll be right back in a second. Okay, here we go. Thanks again for joining me on another Make It With Me Monday. Again, I'm coming, quote, live, unquote, <laughs> to you from our lake home near Mostyn. Um, it's a beautiful Labor Day weekend, and we might just enjoy more of the day up here than we thought. So I thought I would record this, and that way I don't have to worry about getting back home by 6.30. So I hope you've all had a nice long holiday weekend, and good for luck first day of school to anyone who that applies for starting tomorrow, like my kids, or hope you've gotten into the groove already if your districts have already started. All right, so just a quick overview of a couple things. Uh, the mini catalog should be live starting Wednesday the 6th. There's some great products in here. I'm gonna show one of them tonight, the Magical Meadow Suite, which you can find starting on page 36. I'm still not allowed to show the inside of the catalog, so if you have that handy, go ahead and turn to page 36. Uh, one of the things I'm going to be featuring today is the DSP. Um, so this is a 12 by 12 set, mostly with wintry scenes. You see trees, and then the backsides of them kind of have these modeled patterns to them. Pretty, pretty color scheme. Uh, blues and greens, just a hint of purples and lavenders. I love this one with the berries. I think that one's really cool. This one's really neat if you like to do cards with a whole scape, or you want to set it up as a scrapbook page border. This would be really pretty. Um, there's the back side of that one. And then again, this one too would be great for smaller project uh, scrapbook pages, or again, if you just want to take a portion of it for the front of your card, great detailing on that one. And like I said, the back sides are really kind of cool too with all those little modeled prints. All right, so again, Magical Meadow, gonna get working with a small space here. So here is the stamp set, and it does come with a coordinating set of dies. It's actually a pretty big die set too. You've got ones that cut out the shapes in the stamp set, such as these right here. You'll see those will cut out the different shapes with even including this one here. And then you've got ones that are bonus dies. You can do bonus greenery, uh, holly leaves, and that's what these little guys here are for. Those do little tiny holly berries and you'll be able to, stamp, to punch out, uh, let's see, 11 of them at a time. So that's kind of cool. You'll get a whole bunch of them all at once. So that's a really pretty suite. I'm going to be featuring that on in our Suites of Season. Suites of the Season, Suites in Season. Suites in Season, there we go. <laughs> the um, private event, uh, online event that my fellow demonstrators and I are gonna be doing. Um, registration for that is ending soon on this Friday. You can see all the details for that on my Facebook page. And so make sure you get signed up if that is what you are interested in doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for tonight, you are going to want to have a piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. I'm going to be using blueberry bushel, a piece of designer series paper that's three by four. Um, again, I'm using the um, Magical Meadow DSP from the Winter Meadow collection. Um, and then a piece of neutral cardstock that's one and a half by two and a half with images and phrases to fit. And I mentioned we're going to be using it vertically, so we're going to be using it the long way. Uh, if that made a difference for what you picked out. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I have to keep turning my head to get what I need, so I'm sorry if it goes loud and quiet for a little bit. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna be stamping in blueberry bushel and garden green. And I'm gonna need, I forgot to mount these up together. Went before I sat down, so I'm gonna need the phrase, like so, and I'm gonna use, whoops, sorry for the shaking, guys. I'm working on a very tiny tray table. <laughs> Uh, so I have limited resources here. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and do the decoration on that piece of neutral that you have. I'm going to stamp my leafy pattern, my vine pattern in garden green, but I'm actually going to stamp it off a couple times so that I have just a very faint hint of it because I really want just the phrase to show through here. So it's just a little bit of a highlight on that part right there. Let me close that up so I don't stick my fingers in it. All right, and blueberry bushel. It's one of those returning colors. Love it, like nice bright blue. It always reminded me of brilliant blue, if you guys remember that from way back when. Okay, and I'm gonna put my phrase right in the middle of that. There we go. So it says the colder weather brings us together. <clears throat> 
All right. And I have my adhesive right here. So those are the three pieces I need. Whoop, I almost dropped my card base. <laughs> oh, let's see, what did I do with my bone folder? There it is. Okay, so again, I'm gonna apologize for a little bit of wiggling, but we're gonna go ahead and burnish that fold. Now you're gonna put adhesive on the back of your DSP. And we're gonna put it kind of near the top so that we leave a border. And you can decide how much you want. I like to make mine look kind of um, equal. So mine's gonna end up looking like that. And remember, this is a vertically opened card. If you wanna have, if you have a darker card base and you need a piece for the middle, remember that cut is a four by five and a quarter. And then you can decide at this point if you wanna do this directly down or if you're gonna want some dimensionals. You can choose. Now you have a couple options. If you wanna butt this up with the top and make everything even, you can leave it there. You could also drop it down and have it fall into the open space there. So I'm gonna start by putting it up here and then I'll show you a couple samples that have it just a little bit differently as well. So that is the basic and simplest version of that. I did do a three by four cut on the DSP on purpose because that is um, a nice even cut for a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock because you can get an exact even amount out of it. If you don't want to do the borders, you could extend that to a four and a quarter width, uh, or th I'm sorry, yeah, four and a quarter width, um, and then remember though that you won't get as many cuts out of that particular piece of designer series paper. Okay, let me go ahead and show you some of the other samples I did using this particular design. <clears throat> um, the first one I have here is using the Hello Kiwi stamp set. As you can find that on page 54 of the annual catalog. Um, I used the Glorious Gingham Designer Series paper. This is the lemon lime color. I, I dressed it up a little bit by adding some dots with my black blend. I just used the pointy end of that one to put those little dots in there. Um, and then I fussy cut uh, out the kiwi and the half kiwi. So you can see my, my, my rectangle actually kind of goes in between all of those. And then I broke up the phrase. This is all one line. You hold the kiwi to my heart. Broke it up a little bit so it fit into there and also highlighted then the word kiwi in the different color see if that stays on screen. Okay, uh, next I went to Taco Fiesta. Um, adorable little stamp set on page 52. Has lots of really cute images related to um, tacos and spices and burritos and guacamole and all that kind of fun stuff. And then they have these cute little faces that fit into each of those little guys. So my chili pepper has a little face on it <laughs> and it says, you spice up my life. I used the, this is um, uh, Poppy Parade. I added another layer uh, tone on tone with the painted textured embossing folder and that was just to give it a little bit more oomph in the background so similar where I had it leaning up meeting up at the top uh, but a little bit more interest in texture around the back side of that and then I went to the um oops, I have to switch my notes over hold on there we go bird's eye view and that's on page 48 of the annual catalog. These are really cute, adorable birds, and they come with um, eyeglasses that you can put over them. So, so, so cute. Uh, so this is using that same uh, piece of DSP from here. I just flipped it and used the opposite side. So it's got that really pretty model blue color in there. Um, a little bit of navy to highlight, and then I used the wavy trim to add even more highlight and direction around it. So it still bunts up at the top here, but I've added a lot more interest by framing out that whole section entirely with my ribbon. Colored him in with blends, and he is, of course, popped up on uh, dimensionals as well to make, him, to make him pop a little more. Okay, so here is what I just made for you guys on camera. And here's the stepped up version. So what I did is I extended this piece a little bit. I used a tag shape from the tailor-made tags. Um, it's, a little, it's the same width, it's just a little bit longer. Um, because I wanted to add a couple more elements. So I added a knotted piece of ribbon at the top. This ribbon is also in that same suite. Um, a really pretty sheer ribbon with a silver edge. Then I used my garden green marker and I highlighted the outside of the tag. I remember when I showed you this piece, it had the backside that was that pretty blue color. I used a little strip of that both at the top and the bottom to highlight the DSP area. And then those extra bonus dies I was telling you about that did the sprigs and the berries and such. I did those in the green and in... Um, the blueberry bushel to mimic what's already in the DSP, and those are highlighting out the bottom there. So it still has that same green vine effect and the phrase in the same color, but way stepped up and more dressed up than the actual regular version that I just showed you on camera. All right, everybody, that is it for tonight. I know it goes super quick when 
all I do is talk in a video. <laughs> I will have all these samples posted and all of the um, page numbers, et cetera, linked uh, by tomorrow. So it depends on how late I get back tonight before I do all of that. But um, I hope you all again have had a great long Labor Day weekend uh, celebrating the end of summer. And I look forward to seeing you guys again next week live on Monday at 630 Central. Thanks, everybody. Take care.